The morning session of the conference focused on the government's initiatives in the mineral sector. Minister for Mining Byron Chen said the focus of the new reviews in the mining legislation and the development of the six new policies address the sensitive issues of resource ownership and national content, which has been missing for a long time. As you all are aware, the mining sector has been the single largest export revenue earner for PNG for many years, since Panguna in 1967. After wide consultation, PNG has now legislated for quarry operators where, in the past, the state has lost out on so much revenue. People will now be required to get a license before any quarrying operations. Another important review on ownership of minerals will now include those minerals extracted from deep sea mining. The law maintains that ownership of minerals remains with the independent state of Papua New Guinea for the collective benefit of all its people. But we have expanded this to include the new frontier with deep sea mining. Reviews have also been done on the requirements at each stage of a mining project from exploration phase, mine lease application, construction, production, and even the closure phase. Minister Chen said a mine closure is expected to address issues of rehabilitation and reclamation. The biggest focus in this whole review exercise is sustainability. We must ensure the footprint left behind by the mine development brings about tangible benefits that are sustainable after mine closure. Mr. Chen said the changes in the restructure can enable Papua New Guineans to maximize the benefits derived from the exploitation of the country's minerals. Deli Waigeno, National, MTV News.